title itself is inspired by a poem, and the poem is all about finding order in the world around us and how um, there's a really fragile line between order and complete deconstruction and, and mess, and it's, it's, it has to do with finding that, that balance and finding the, realizing that it's often a blurry line. The theme of the exhibition is this idea between order and chaos, or the ways in which structures work in society or families. You'll see that the exhibition ranges in scope. I worked with the European Space Agency and they orbited a comet for two years and during that uh, two-year time span they were able to record the sound and it's been sonified by a sound engineer and pressed on a vinyl record and then I've created a mold of that record and I'm now making ice versions of that and playing them in the space. I make the objects from the home out of porcelain, so they're these highly fragile objects and pieces of furniture. I want the viewer to think about if they were to interact with these objects and how that would make them feel. Um, all of the work is kind of reflecting a young girl's space, and so in making the porcelain slippers out of porcelain, I'm kind of referencing this fragility and anxiety during what is expected to be a carefree, happy time in a young girl's life. The exhibition is completely inspired by the work, so I try not to go in with any ideas. I um, like to go in and I'm just prepared to be surprised and let the work and the artist lead the process. So it's very much um, you know, asking the artist questions, listening to them, seeing the work, and then the ideas and themes grow out of that quite naturally. These are casted braids. They're two different braids, and these came from two women who are really uh, near and dear to me and they donated their hair and I just braided it up and I created two casts and then made these multiples of these. Many Catholics put like cross on top of the bed but I was thinking of honoring the individual. I'm Mexican so I think braids are very present in the Mexican culture but then as I was doing more research and digging around, braids were part of many other cultures so that's like a way to see how much the world is connected and how we don't see that. So this is a grouping by an artist named Ingrid Leva who lives and works in El Paso and Juarez and what she's done here uh, is present a series of photos um, that are essentially diptychs so it's two photos that are paired together. One of the photos is taken in El Paso and one in Juarez, um, and in each case we don't know which is which. Honey has always been um, treated as a sign of fertility, but also as a sign of life, life-preserving elixir. I would encourage all viewers to come in with an open mind, and um, there's so much to learn from these artists practicing here in El Paso, and they have so much to say and so much to offer and I think there's a lot that can be learned and understood by sitting and being patient with each work. <laughs>